Hello everybody. I know it's been a while since you last seen me, but they've been busy. <clears throat> I was getting stuff done at the house and a bunch of other stuff in life, but uh, especially with the new baby. Uh, it's been killing a lot of my time. A lot of free work in the summer was outside. Still got a lot of stuff outside to do, but decided to make this, uh, un well, not really unboxing. I'm not going to go probably too crazy in here, uh, but I just got my Kickstarter for the um, Coolmidian Rot. Uh, Arcadia Quest, and so I kind of just undid the uh, packing tape on here, cut that up. Uh, so I haven't looked at anything in here yet, but I figured maybe you guys might want to take a look at uh, what came with it. So I'll start with uh, this box here. I'll put it on top of that box and then pop it on the couch. All right. So, first one's up is the Foss Dragon, which was, I'm pretty sure it was an expansion that I bought. Uh, so this should be what the dragon looks like in comparison to the heroes in size. There's the cards. I guess that's going to be the tiles and any of the other knick-knack stuff that came with it. Uh, I might do a video later uh, with the stuff opened up. And the uh, figures themselves. So here is the Arcadia Quest Friar Dragon. Once again, there's the uh, Fire Dragon in comparison. It's more serpent like. There's the cards, tiles, and other tokens that I guess are needed with that expansion. Alright, next up is the Chaos Dragon. Definitely some nice whoop, nice artwork. Sorry about the shaky again guys, just gonna do this real quick with my cell phone. So that's what the Chaos Dragon looks like in comparison to the hero cards, tokens and tiles that come with him. Like I said, I get some requests to open these bad boys up and show you what they look like. I can do that. So plastic tokens that came with the uh, Kickstarter expansion, which I think are nicer than the cardboard things because they'll last a hell of a whole lot longer as far as I'm concerned. So definitely don't mind picking that up. I, I want to say I had to pay a little extra to get those, but I don't really remember. Here's the uh, tokens for the expansion. They're all in plastic. Uh, there is the Inferno Guild Dice. Uh, let's see, what is this here? Uh, this must be one of the, yeah, that's one of the little pets. They introduced like pets into the game. So that's one of the little pets. Oh, there's going to be a lot of stuff in this box. Uh, I believe these were add-on characters that you could get. There's the guy and there's the female, little, like little devil people. Here's the two dwarves that you could get. There's another expansion. Uh, I don't remember if this was an expansion person or not. There's another one. Crockety old woman. I think these came with the uh, thing from Unlock, so I don't remember purchasing uh, those particular last couple. I remember the uh, dwarf and the demon people. That's about it. Alright, so here is the full-blown Pets expansion. Here, which I decided to grab with that Kickstarter. So there you go, there's the Inferno box required with the normal Arcadia. It comes with uh, three double-sided tiles, a uh, campaign sheet, campaign book, two hero cards, 20 monster cards, 20 upgrade cards, 
10 quest cards, 10 pet dashboards, uh, let's see, pet color bases, uh, and then 24 highly detailed plastic miniatures. And I take it the two gray ones up here are probably the heroes. Uh, I would assume the gray stuff up top are maybe the enemies. This is 20, so that doesn't kind of work out right, but those stuff on the bottom's got to be the pets. Some of those figures look pretty cool already, from what I can see in the box. Alright, so here's the next dragon set. That's the poison dragon. Uh, there he is in comparison to the miniatures. He's a little more hunched over, like he's about ready to play some football. Um, the American football, I guess I should say. Uh, there's more tiles and tokens. And let's see. This is the whole lot of lava set. Which I think was an expansion to the Kickstarter from Unlocks. Looks like he just comes with some, uh, let's see, four detailed figures, 18 cards, one scenario. So it's like a little expansion. Let's see. Nothing in that bubble wrap. Nothing in that bubble wrap. And nothing in that bubble wrap. Okay, last but not least, from the looks of it. Excuse them. So this is the hill of a box. It kind of looks like Skeletor, and the one from Power Rangers. So this is the back. So that shows us. Uh -huh. Look like John Stone. Let's see. Anybody else we can look at that looks like a. Complete rip off of somebody else, Leonidas. Skeletor, Maleficent. Of course, there might be other ones I'm not seeing here. Looks like it comes with some pets. Hey, look, Gizmo. Two demons. Pop them off to the side, and then the whole reason for the Kickstarter in its first place. Oh, this thing's heavy. Let me pop that off to the side here. Look for the lighting; it's not gonna be too bad. So, Arcadia Quest Inferno. That's what the whole Kickstarter was all for. So, this came with the. Or um, the um, tiles. It looks like six. I'm not sure if they're double sided or not. Uh, all the stuff needed basically to really play the game uh, is here. As it says, two to four players, eight, 14 and ups, and about an hour to play. Rule book, campaign book, campaign sheet pad, 36 highly detailed plastic, 12 bases. Custom dice, cards, tokens, double-sided game tiles, so they are double-sided, and guild dashboards. Uh, so let's see here. So I'm going to assume the whitish people are maybe good. And taking the dark gray ones are the bad guys. And maybe the top are some more heroes they added into the game. Not 100% sure until I open this bad boy up, uh, which I'm not going to do right the second. Yeah. But I want to get that film for you guys. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in seeing what's inside some of these, just let me know. And uh, we'll do that up. Alright, it's almost to 10 minutes. I got everything out of the boxes. So I'm going to have to uh, take these boxes here, break them down, and throw them in the recycles. But uh, I'll talk to you all later.